What is going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another edition of On the Road to Victory. I am your host, Jimmy Smith, and I hope you're having yourselves a great week, a great start to your new year. Hope you enjoyed your holidays, but we are here, week 18, the final week of the regular season, and, well, it's been a tumultuous season, to say the least. So, we're going to break it down, as we always do, talk about what the Eagles can do here against their opponent, get to know that opponent, Week 18, the New York Giants, and we just saw them a couple weeks ago. So we're going to breeze by this, talk about what's been going on, some of the changes, things we need to talk about, but love to hear your thoughts down below. Appreciate you taking the time, hitting that like button, subscribing, all the things you're doing to support the channel. I cannot thank you enough. Now, let's jump right into this bad boy. And again, we just talked about this a couple of weeks ago, so you know a little bit different this year for the Giants. You know, we obviously saw them, knocked them out in the playoffs, had a 9-7-1 and one season this year, having their struggles, you know, and they added some players there on offense, defense, tried to improve some things, but, you know, they lost a couple of pieces on the line, and, you know, Julian Love was a good one. Uh, they had an okay draft, but just giving that money to Daniel Jones, I think that's the most hilarious thing we talk about, and, hey, man, uh, we enjoy it as Eagles fans, so... You know, this year, things going much different for that team. And, well, the Eagles, they've been having their struggles too. But at least things are flip-flop there on the record. So at 11-5, and five, the Eagles now second. The Giants there third, 5-11. and 11. And, you know, we're hoping the Commanders can tie with the Giants and the Eagles can pull off that victory next week. And we can just pray that we get that uh, NFC East victory. But we'll see how things go here. And I think, you know, Obviously, you know, we just talked yesterday about the issues. I'll try not to get too deep into it, but uh, talk about what the Eagles can do here. And 11 and 5 is still great, but we know what this team is capable of. So the losses they have sustained, the way they've lost them, that is what's leaving a sour taste in people's mouths. And, you know, losing last week, not only did you drop in the NFC East, but you went from two to five in the NFC standing. So now you allowed the Niners to lock it up. You allowed. You know, all these bad things happen. Uh, again, I don't care. I'll bring it on. Buccaneers in the first round. I'm all about it. Let's smoke them. Get things going. So you got a week to do it here in the regular season. The Giants, 13th in the NFC. You see at 5-11 and 11 there. And obviously, it was an eight-point win we had last time. And, you know, they replaced Tyrod Taylor there for Tommy DeVito. And I think that, hey, look, Tyrod Taylor, we just saw what Kyler Murray did. So, Got to watch out here, and uh, the Eagles really need to figure some things out. But the Giants, you know, season loss for them, but they would love to make things worse for us and make their draft pick worse for themselves because, well, that's just what kind of franchise they are. But uh, let's take a look at how they've been doing here, their stats and where it's got them ranked. And on offense here, 30th in points and total yardage, 32nd in passing, 16th in rushing, giving up the most sacks per game. We talked about it last time. 5.2 per game. It was 5.4 last time we played them. And guess what? One sack we got. And it wasn't, it was from a linebacker. It wasn't even from, from our damn line. So unacceptable. Got to get after whoever the hell the quarterback is, probably Tyrod Taylor. But you see, um, look, not turning the ball over too much. Top 10, tied for 10th there in turnovers per game. Now on the defensive side of the ball, 28th in points and total yardage there. 20th against the pass, 29th against the run there. Tied for 30th. Getting sacks 1.8 per game, but you see turnovers, man. They're tied for fifth and tied for fourth there, and then tied for third in total turnovers. So five, four, three. Let's go, Eagles. No turnovers. You can't play sloppy football. And this is a team that you know they're going to come after you. Wink Martindale. We talked about sending the house. That was the most pressure Jalen Hurts all. So we're going to see you know what they do. But the Eagles here, look. The offense, I mean, so up and down the play calling, make people lose their minds. So many things are just mind-boggling. But seventh in points, eighth in yardage, 16th in passing, ninth in rushing. You see 10th in sacks given up per game and 22nd there in interceptions, tied for 18th in fumbles lost, and then tied for 21st in turnovers. Now on the defensive side of the ball, 29th in points, 23rd in yards, 28th against the pass, 11th against the run. We just keep getting worse. Talked about it yesterday. We were from week one to nine, number one against the run. And then after our bye, we are the worst. We are 32nd against the damn run. So unacceptable. Don't understand it. But you see tied for 16th, not get, we're getting pressure, not getting sacks, uh, just not getting turnovers. 
unreal. Uh, but the Giants, this is a team, as much as they don't turn the ball over, they do give up sacks. You should be able to get pressure. Mm, last game, it's nerve-wracking. So we'll see how uh, things go, and we'll see who's healthy tomorrow, the initial injury report, so we'll break all that stuff down. But let's take a look at this team. And again, anybody that's banged up here, we'll talk about that tomorrow. But let's take a look at who the New York Giants are and the changes they've made since we saw them last couple of weeks here. Brian Dable, Kafka, Martindale, and McGahey there as the staff. Now, the quarterbacks, there is a QB change. We saw Tyrod Taylor in that second half. He was 7 for 16, 133 yards. Had a touchdown, but he also threw that interception. So, look, with uh, Daniel Jones on IR, they've got Taylor and DeVito to choose from. Matt Barkley there on the practice squad. So, maybe they elevate Barkley just in case you've got Tyrod Taylor. Uh, something happens, but... Hey, maybe we see DeVito. They switch it up this time. We shall see. But this Eagles D, man, what the hell? You better get after it. Can't wait to talk about the top matchups because he, uh, Kyler Murray just made us look like clowns. So I'm just going to leave it at that. And the top matchups, looking forward to that. Now, running backs, you see Saquon, Brita, Greg, Corbin. We know what Saquon is. He had 80 uh, yards rushing last time we saw him. Only had three catches, and he only had four yards. So they actually did an okay job at containing him. But at certain times... Look, he's Saquon Barkley. You got to do all you can. He'll get you on the ground or in the air. And Gary Brightwell is designated to return, as you see at the bottom there. You got on the practice squad, Deion Jackson, the former Colt. So they've got some options here and some things going down I will keep you up to date with. Now at wide receiver, you've got Slayton, Wandale Robinson, the rookie Hyatt, Hodgins, Shepard, Oslewski, Paris Campbell, and now Dennis Houston is off of the practice squad and on the active roster. They've got only Dylan Drummond there on the practice squad, Bryce Ford Wheaton on IR. Now, tight end, I want to add as well, Darren Waller with Bellinger. So these weapons, not the greatest, uh, but, you know, Slayton actually had three catches for 90 yards and that touchdown. Bellinger had four catches for 43 yards. We talked about that. We actually did well against Waller, who only had two catches for 32 yards. But Robinson, three catches, 16 yards. Nobody else really did much. So shut these. I mean, this secondary really needs to set things up. And, I'm really hoping that the Eagles find something here, get some pressure. And they just locked, lost Tyre Ty Phillips. Looks like his season's going to be done. They had already placed uh, Evan Neal on IR. So these moves, I don't think have officially happened. Tyre Phillips going to IR. But um, I put him there. He's going to end up there. We'll see. Matt Pert just came off IR. So we'll see if he's their right tackle, what they decide to do. But I'll keep you up to date with all of that. And don't worry, at the end, you'll see the depth chart, what's going on there. But you see there's the practice squad at the bottom. Three players there, and then you've got a bunch of guys on IR from their line. Now, let's jump over to the defense here. And look, we talked about Dexter Lawrence. He is a stud, man. You got to watch out for this monster. But um, looking at uh, Rakeem Nunez Rochez and Ashawn Robinson, Robinson was banged up last week. Nunez Rochez, or last time we played him, Nunez Rochez was out. So we'll see if he's back, if they've got their guys there, but they put up a fight last time. So we need this offensive line. All the guys are healthy there. Need to whoop some ass. Hopefully Landon's doing okay with his thumb. And, oh, Lord, help us. Uh, let's close these guys out. No reason that this offensive line should struggle with these guys. But, you know, you had Kayvon Thibodeau. Uh, obviously, he's got some talent there. Jihad Ward, Ojalare, and they send the house, man. So, got to watch out. We got to protect Jalen. Jalen did well. But let's build in some hot reads. Let's do some things that can help Jalen not, you know, just – make him have to do these ridiculous plays. I mean, I love that he's, you know, playing at an MVP level while things are burning around him, but let's try to help him out here with the play calling and doing things that benefit him. Now, on to the linebackers here. Okiriki, a great addition. McFadden, Simmons, Coughlin, Brown. Now Beavers is off of IR. You got Johnson on the practice squad and then Gerard Davis there on the IR. But Okiriki had 10 total tackles last time we played him. Talked about, you know, a great addition for them this offseason. And, you know, it's going to be a good matchup to talk about. The Eagles need to run the effing ball. I mean, you know I'm going to say run the damn ball. I just don't know if they want to listen to me ever. Now on to the secondary. Let's take a look here at the cornerbacks. Adore Jackson, Deontay Banks, Flott, Holmes, Hawkins, McLeod. And you got Stanley Thomas Oliver on the practice squad. Aaron Robinson still on that pup list. So, Look, um, you know, Adore Jackson had that interception on Hertz last time. We talked about it, an underrated guy in this league. I, I don't care. A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith are better receivers. Now, Devontae was in a walking boot. It looks to be a minor, minor, minor injury, I want to say. Sorry, I got a little cut up there, tongue twisted. But 
you see uh, him, you know, in a walking boot that kind of scares you. So probably not playing in this game, hopeful for the playoffs, but the other guys need to step it up. Julio, you saw two touchdowns last week, need Alameda to step it up. I don't know all about Quez, but uh, Britton Covey, maybe let's get some things going here on offense from the other pieces. We want to see it anyway. So no reason they can't do that. Odore versus AJ. And then the other guys getting their business done. Handling business, man. Let's stand on business. Now at safety, finishing up the defense here. Xavier McKinney, Pinnock, Belton, Owens, and then you see Caleb Hayes there on the practice squad. Now, McKinney was in for uh, half of a sack last game we talked about with Jihad Ward, and I think that we know how talented this dude is. You got to watch out for him. He is a Swiss Army knife, man. You can use him all over the place. And talked about Wink Martindale, what he does to send the house. This is the most pressure we saw all year, so... Look, they're going to do it again. Uh, let's try to help Jalen out. Let's not make this a game this time. I know you'll be missing pieces, but I don't care. Now, the specialist, uh, we talked about this before last game. You know, you got Randy Bullock and Graham Gano on IR. Their uh, practice squad kicker, Cade York, had to go on practice squad IR. So three guys on IR for them. And now you see Mason Crosby is their kicker, was signed off their practice squad. Uh, you've got Gillen there, uh, punter. And you've got Casey Kreider at long snapper. Gunny, Gunner all Ozluski is now the kick returner and punt returner. So the return specialist taking over for Campbell, who was banged up. But I'll have all that injury information for you tomorrow. So all of these guys like aren't always going to be playing. There's going to be things going on. But Wednesday is the initial injury report. So I'll be able to tell you what's going on with who you guys will see, you know, everything each day keeping you up. And if you're into that kind of stuff. It's every damn week. So we'll continue it through the playoffs, however long that goes. And then whenever the offseason begins after the Super Bowl, when we win, we will talk about the draft, who's going, who's staying, all that great stuff. But focusing on the last week, then the playoffs. Let's go, Birds. Now let's take a look at all that stuff you saw with the practice squad, the IR at the bottom at each position. Let's look at the full lists here. Now starting us off with the practice squad, you can see over here, they have got themselves nine guys, I believe it is, on uh, the offense, and you've got five over here on defense, So, or maybe it's just eight. Um, yeah, I can't count. It's eight, and then it's five. So you've got 13 guys. They've got three open spots. They've got some injuries going on, so we'll see. I'm sure they're going to be adding pieces to the practice squad and active roster. I'll keep you up to date with that and the Eagles. Now on to their reserves list that you saw at the bottom. Yeah, you saw a lot of people, so let's look at it. Now on the left, it's going to be the offense. In the middle is the defense, and then to the right, is the special team. So you've got Bullock and Gano on injured reserve. You've got Cade York on the practice squad injured reserve. Then when you go to the middle, looking at the injured reserve, you've got Gerard Davis down at the bottom, Aaron Robinson still on the pup list. And then the injured reserve for offense, uh, you see the asterisk in front of Gary Brightwell. He is designated to return. We'll see if he comes back this week. I think this is his final week to come back, so probably will. You've got Cager there now, Azedju, uh, Ford Wheaton, Hausner, Daniel Jones, Lemieux, Neil Phillips, all on there from the offense. Phillips not there yet, but I'm just putting him on there. Now, anyone in red is new to the team this season, and you will see that here on the depth chart. So let's take a look at their offense. And look, um, we talk about the right tackle. I think, you know, it's going to be Pert, so that'll be different. But other than that, Tyrod Taylor, he was there in the second half. That will be different. So no reason we can't shut this offense down. And then on the defensive side of the ball, again, anyone in red new to the team this season, uh, Nunez Rochez. We'll see if he's playing this week. You know, uh, that could be different. But other than that, this defense going to look a lot the same. They're going to be sending the house. Then the special teams, we talk about Gunner there, had a big uh, touchdown return. I think it was like 90-some yards there last week. So got to watch out for him. We'll be talking about all of that in the top matchups on Thursday. But tomorrow I will be here. Giving you that initial injury report for both teams. Got some important stuff for both of those teams to talk about, so I hope to see you then. But appreciate you tuning in, watching this one. If you got anything from it, do me a favor. Hit that like button. You can always subscribe down below. But until next time, I am Jimmy Smith, and this is On the Road to Victory. You have yourselves a great week, a great rest of your night. Stay safe out there, and as always, Go Birds!